talking of intriguing matchups. I know you think North Macedonia is whatever. I'm not so sure how easy this will be for Italy. I, you know, we'll do predictions in a second, but Italy now against North Macedonia. Everybody saw it because of their relationship that Roberto Mancini was going to pick Mario Balotelli. Um, but no, it's not so. He selected Cagliari striker Joao Pedro uh, for part of his offensive side for the Azzurri. And now it's Italy. Italy, the winners of Euro 2020 looking to make a stand. By the way, they missed out on the previous World Cup. So it's not completely uh, you know, crazy that Italy could miss here. But Michael, let's start with you as Italy face North Macedonia. How do you see this one? I see this Italian team winning, and really, it's who's going to score the goals for them. We know they're going to dominate possession because North Macedonia, they sit back just as we've seen them do in major competition, and they're going to look to frustrate this Italian team, but the difference for Italy is going to come off set pieces. They can score goals in different ways, and in the European Championship, they relied quite a bit on set pieces, Mm. so I think that's going to be where they win the game. Yeah, I'm. Uh, this one is a bit of a, a, a trap because we've seen when big teams have been vulnerable uh, against North Macedonia in the past. Uh, North Macedonia have actually been able to spring a surprise. Uh, we saw that with Germany uh, in the the qualification, the qualifiers for the Euros. Uh, I don't think that'll necessarily happen to Italy, but I don't think it'll be a comfortable match for them either. Uh, they like PSG, uh, you know quite often are dependent on Marco Verratti to sort of be that metronomic presence in the midfield to dictate the way they play. I know they had to deal without him uh, during the Euros, but Verratti's actually, aside from PSG's poor form and latest Champions League exit, he's actually on a good run uh, in terms of health at the moment. And I think he could be key uh, in uh, in these games. I think uh, leaving Balotelli out was ultimately the, the, the right decision because I think once that story broke and the the attention that it got, that's all I it think would it, be. Yeah, I th- no, but I, th- I think it would have been a distraction as well having yeah. Balotelli yeah. there. And I think ultimately Mancini has, uh, you know, prioritized the the collective, uh, and that is a smart move because they're going to need that kind of siege mentality, not necessarily to get past North Macedonia, but for what I think will be the ultimate test, which will be them uh, against Portugal. And if that is the ultimate matchup, let's not forget that that will be uh, potentially. Uh, you know, that was uh, slated for for Porto, uh, the game. Yeah, that's big. All right. Well, let's pretend. Uh, and by the way, everybody, um, regarding, uh, you know, the World Cup and everything, FIFA uh, is, is doing the World Cup draw based on seedings as well. So if Italy failed to qualify, Portugal becomes seeded. And if Por- and if Portugal also don't qualify, then Denmark becomes seeded. So there's also a seeding situation as well. Let's pretend, Michael, for a second that we're wrong and Turkish, Turkey loses and it is Italy against Portugal. Who would you see winning? Well, that's not, that that's not you guys being wrong. That's me being right. <laughs> J- 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 Let's pretend that, that, that Jonathan J- J- Johnson is correct and, that, and he's J- right Mike. and it's that, Italy J- against J- Portugal. <laughs> <laughs> who do you see, who do you see uh, going through to the World Cup? Ah, uh, man, I, I, you know, JJ, I couldn't hear you. I muted you in my head when you were talking about <laughs> Portugal winning. But since we're hypothetically... That's, that's what we normally do to Jimmy Conrad on this podcast. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Since we're, we're talking hypothetical, I think this Portuguese team will end up beating Italy should they meet them because they'll be getting players back that are healthy. And I hope that time away from the national team, where as a player, oftentimes when you see your team succeed and you've had to watch, it gives you a fresh perspective to appreciate the fact that World Cup and qualifying for it is not a given. So I'd pick Portugal because of that. Yeah, I mean, it's honestly, if it does happen, it's going to be such a, a massive showdown. There's going to be so many players that will be under pressure to bring their, their, their big game mentality. And I guess... You know, Italy are probably the more vulnerable in that situation because both teams have sort of been in that scenario. Italy have failed to go to the big international tournaments, whereas Portugal have made it through. But Portugal really sort of sucking on the fumes uh, of the chemistry that carried them for like the last decade. I mean, yes, we know that they won uh, in 2016 in France in the Euros, but also at the same time. 
they were so unfancied in pretty much all of those games, even into the final uh, against France on home soil. You know, they the were worst sort of World Cup, the, the worst Euro belt. final I've ever seen. <laughs> yeah, one hundred. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't disagree with it. Yeah, but yeah. Um, it was it, for, for for me. I think that. So you're saying, JJ, oh, that Portugal not making it to the World Cup is would that be more of an upset than Italy not making it? I think because they're ch they're defending champions of the Euros. Uh, it would be a bigger upset for Italy not to make it through, but I think it's going to be huge either way. And I, I think it's yeah. definitely, uh, you know, the end of a, an era for, for Portugal if they don't make it. Well, yeah. But to be honest, we kind of know that it already is anyway. Yeah. Mm. Michael, what would be a bigger upset, do you think? You know, JJ, this is the part of the show where I feel like we're disagreeing and I want to keep it that way because <laughs> Portugal have the greatest goal scorer of all time in their ranks. It's, it's written in the stars for him to potentially be his last chance at international glory. Italy have had their glory. It's not the same team. Chiesa has been a big miss for them through injury through this qualifying campaign. Portugal has all the stars, whether they're aging, young, or getting into their prime. When you have all those pieces in play, it would be devastation for Cristiano Ronaldo and the entire nation to miss out on this last chance hurrah and last chance saloon for him. So I'm taking okay. Portugal for the bigger disappointment.